Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve issues you might have with your computer performance on Windows 10. So if you are receiving different kinds of blue screens, perhaps specifically if you're receiving driver overran stack buffer errors, or perhaps you think that different sectors of your hard drive might be bad, this brief tutorial will hopefully address that and just run a brief scan using a built-in hard disk scanning and repair utility that Microsoft has included in Windows for many, many versions. So we're going to jump right into it and we are going to start by right clicking on the start button. And then you want to left click on command prompt admin from this menu. So it should be near the middle, command prompt and then parentheses admin. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Okay, so now in the elevated command line window, you want to type in chk dsk space forward slash f. So it should say chk dsk space forward slash f. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard. Now it's going to say check disk cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time the system restarts? At this point you type Y on your keyboard, hit enter, and then it will say this volume will be checked the next time your system restarts. I recommend at this point closing out of the command prompt window and then restart your computer like you normally would and it will begin the process of checking your hard disk for errors. Now if that does not clear up some of your freezing issues, I'd also recommend on Windows 10 right clicking on the taskbar once your computer is restarted. Left click on Task Manager. Expand this view by clicking on more details to the bottom left of this window. Then you want to left click on the Startup tab at the top. There will be a bunch of programs more than likely listed here and you can see the startup impact and if they are enabled or disabled. Now I would recommend you, you err on the side of caution. If you're not sure about the startup process, especially if it's like an antivirus, I would make sure you keep it enabled. I do not believe most antiviruses will actually let you disable them because they have safeguards against that, against malicious attacks. So you probably would need to disable your antivirus through the user interface. But again, I mean, I really don't recommend that. But if you have other programs in here, like OneDrive, if you don't actually use OneDrive, you're more than welcome to disable that. And all you have to do is just click on the name right here, and then click on Disable. And you have to restart your computer for it to obviously take effect. Now, you're not deleting any programs, it just is not going to start up when your computer starts up. So it'll take a little bit longer to open up if you try and open it up, if that makes sense. But it doesn't cause any harm to your computer. So pretty straightforward. I'd also recommend going back to the antivirus. If you do have an antivirus on your computer, I would recommend running a scan and seeing if there's any malicious activity on there. And that's always a good step. You can also run the disk cleanup utility. So if you go into the start menu and type in disk cleanup, it should be listed as a desktop app. You can open that up. And you can see it's starting to start scanning for different files that are no longer necessary on our computer. At this point, you would just select which files you want to remove. All these are probably pretty safe bets so you can remove them. Just click on Cleanup System Files right here, and then you would run a disk cleanup. Once you're done doing that, I recommend if you want to run a disk defrag, you can always do that by going back to Start button and type disk defrag. It'll defragment and optimize drives if you've never seen this before. I recommend that you click on the Optimize button on your main hard drive. If you have a system reserved or a recovery drive, like a D drive, 
if that's not your primary hard drive or primary partition, I'd recommend you leave that alone. But for your main hard drive, you can always click on optimize. And it should optimize your hard drive by moving your data around to the quickest sectors of your hard drive, thus speeding up the processing time to get information. So pretty straightforward. There are quite a few different things we can do to speed up your computer. But as always, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.